Okay, the next thing we're going to cover is wireless tethering. Now, I have T-Mobile as my wireless carrier, and they don't charge extra for tethering. I know Verizon does, I know some other carriers do. But I'm fortunate enough that I don't have to pay for the wireless tethering. And this phone offers wireless tethering, which is one of the great uh, upgrades for Android 2.2. That, the speed uh, the speed increase which is two to five times faster and also what we just covered before which was the flash that you can actually use on the phone. I'm going to show you here you have you see my Nexus one here and behind it is my laptop. I'm going to show you how I'm going to tether my laptop using the Wi-Fi on the laptop onto the phone. Well actually I'm going to use the Wi-Fi on the phone and uh, access the internet through the phone. So in order to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to wireless networks. Okay? And what you want to do is hit down here, it says tethering and portable hotspot. So we're going to turn this phone into a portable hotspot. So you can, as long as you have a device that can use Wi-Fi, you can hook it up to this phone just wirelessly or you could actually USB tether it too. So if you wanted to, I don't know if you can see the first option up there, but you can actually uh, attach this phone to your device via USB and tether it that way. But we're actually going to tether it wirelessly right now. So I'm going to hit portable Wi-Fi hotspot and it says turning on. Okay, portable hotspot Android AP active, and on top you have a little blue icon that shows that. Now we're going to switch over to the laptop. We're just going to put this down on the side here that you can see, and uh, we're actually going to go to the wireless settings up here and see what we have. It says Android AP. I have it as an unsecured network right now, and it is connecting and it's connected. All right, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to one of the sites that I go to, which is Engadget, and we're going to check how quick it loads up. Now this is, like I said, I'm using the wireless off of my phone. Um, I'm getting a 3G signal here and it's loading everything up and the top story is wow a Nexus One story Qualcomm demos augmented reality and peer-to-peer -peer tech tries to punch cellular gaming block off it's interesting it's like a PS3 uh, Eye of Judgment game or something that's actually kind of interesting all right, we're actually going to click on that story and see how fast it brings it up. That is, that is a lot quicker than I thought it ever would be running through a cell phone wireless tethering. This is, uh, I'm very impressed with this. So, let's see how it runs video through it. Let's meet our team. Jack, Sammy, and that's, that's unbelievable. Jack is a strapping lad from Westchester. That is unbelievable. That video, by the way, was proximity-based peer-to-peer gaming. So, it's about Android gaming. Very impressive. I'm very impressed. I, I never, like I said before, I never thought that the speeds would be that good. Uh, just basically tethering my laptop to my cell phone. I'm impressed. Alright, now I was able to download Froyo Android 2.2 on the 4th of July. But being a holiday in the United States, I wasn't able to play with it too much. So today is really the first day I've actually able, been able to uh, get my hands you know, on the, the new operating system and play with it and get my feet wet with it. 
and so I'm sure there's going to be many more things I'll, I'll notice about it, many more things I'll find out about it. Uh, for right now, I'm just giving you a, a little overview of what I've discovered on it so far. Now you'll notice the two new icons at the bottom, as I said before, the phone icon and the browsing icon. And it allowed me to remove a couple of the app icons off of the screen and make it, it makes it a little more clean looking. Now one of the things I did notice about this is that when I swipe from screen to screen, it's a little more snappy. It kind of just pops. There's a little bounce to it, uh, which I didn't notice too much before. So it's a little it's a little quicker, which stands to reason because uh, the the way they did this. Uh, this update, the Android 2.2, uh, they used a JIT compiler, which supposedly makes it two to five times faster uh, than it than it was before. So, and, it, and it's noticeable on the phone. Um, a couple of the things when you hit the menu button here, when you bring up all your apps, uh, I did a video on it once before. As as you can see, it kind of bends around a corner up there. It used to only do that on the top, now it does it on the bottom as well. So it kind of, as you can see, the, the apps kind of are like on a square spool. They go into infinity back that way, and then you, got, you can see four rows at a time on it, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's one of the visual upgrades I've seen on it. Um, another one of the visual upgrades is in the camera itself. If you'll notice down here, I'm holding the, the, the camera, or I'm holding the phone in a, in a vertical way, and you see the camera and the, the movie icons in, in, in line with that. If I turn it to the side, you'll see they'll move because I went in a horizontal position. So that's just a, one of those little things that uh, shows you that there's polish on the phone. And one thing you'll notice here also are a lot of the camera controls right on the screen there is your zoom of course you could always tap to zoom or you can actually control it here if you want to go in between one to two times you could do that uh, you have your flash control here you have your uh, white balance here you have your uh, store location here so if you want to geolocate the picture you can or can't and then you have your focus mode um, which is shows your auto or infinity or uh, your exposures here. So it, everything is a little more upfront on the camera, which is really cool. And right now it's just you know showing my hand, so that's why you're seeing nothing here. But there's the the camera on the phone, and uh, that's one of the things I did notice on on the phone that was different, which is pretty cool. So that is my overview of Froyo at this point. As I said before, there's going to be a lot more information, I'm sure, that I will learn about the phone in the coming days and weeks. And if there's anything of, of real interest, I'm going to make another video about it. So please, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Um, comment down below. And until next time, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you soon.